This is Dr. Jen, Dr. Jen Cottle. She is a legit doctor. She's a family physician. She's also an associate professor at Rowan University. Where is that? It's in South Jersey. South Jersey, Jersey. my yes. girl, yes. Jersey girl, neighbors. <laughs> I've given our audience some true false cards and she's gonna debunk some myths. In summertime, there's all these myths that run around. You People wanna know what's true and false. Right. So audience, I need your help, okay? True or false, does garlic ward off mosquitoes? What do you think, true? False. Heard of vampires. Oh my god, look at all the truth. I like that. That's a lot true, of true. False, yeah, I know. So it's like half and half. I think true wins though. I true, think they, there's I think more they true do signs win. than false. I have no clue. I do know that I eat copious <laughs> amounts of garlic. <laughs> um, and I know that bugs bite me, so I'm going to guess false. You are actually right. So <laughs> I speak from experience. Yes, so it's false. Garlic does not ward off mosquitoes. And in fact, we want to use an EPA regulated um, mosquito repellent, something with DEET or another active ingredient. We have some here. You can get this at the drugstore. Super important because a lot of mosquitoes can carry diseases these days. So you want to be very careful. How, do you know how often you should apply this? Is it like sunscreen, like you have to keep reapplying if you, you're in a woodsy area? The instructions usually tell you, and it'll also tell you about when you're wearing sunscreen, which one goes on first. So just oh, follow I didn't the direction. Know that you, there was an order. That's right, because oh. you want to still wear sunscreen too which we're gonna talk about. Right. But to answer your question, why do bugs eat some people and not eat others? I get eaten by bugs like crazy. I honestly think, I don't know, it's so individual. Some people just have certain reactions, some people just attract them. I don't know, the verdict is still out. But, but garlic is not the thing to keep mosquitoes away. That My mom, <laughs> it is the thing to make your food taste better. That is true, um, that is true, that is true. So, oh my yeah. mama, my mama always said, that bugs like people that have sweet blood, so I must be sugar sweet you, on the inside. You are you sweet. Too. You, oh, thank you. So All right. Much. Okay, so moving, All right, on. moving on. Next question, guys. True or false? Get your paddles ready. You can get poison ivy from another person. Oh. Can you catch poison ivy from someone else? Can you catch it from someone else? I ah, honestly do not look know. At that. You don't know? Mostly so, true. Mostly again. trues, yeah. Mostly trues again. So the answer is true. Yay. <laughs> wow. So the answer is true, but not for the reasons that you might think. A lot of people we get, think we get poison ivy from someone else because we touch the blistery rash. That rash is not contagious. It's actually the oil from the poison ivy or poison oak tree that will get on your clothes or your skin before wow. you've had a chance to wash so off you or take your clothes off. So you get it from clothing. Oh, oh yeah, that's usually oh. where you get it. You've been out in the woods or whatever, you haven't had a chance to shower, it's on your clothes. Dogs can pick it up too, yes. Yes. Your dog could get poison yes. ivy from you, but not from the oogie thing. It's not the rash. It's not the rash. Yes. Heck. So, um, yes, that's super, super important.